Hello everyone, today we are comparing this monitor and recorder Atomos Ninja 5 to my Small HD Focus 5. Actually, I sold it and I bought this one and today we'll compare it closely. Let's go! What's good guys, my name is Oleg Nikitin and you're watching No Limits On and Tech Kitchen. This channel is about a privilege of being a freelancer, tips and pieces of advice about motivation, personal growth, gear, tech reviews and many more. Welcome to the channel. So I have a list of comparisons and we'll get the check marks for Small HD Focus and for Adamus Ninja 5. So let's start. First of all, the size and weight. Actually, this recorder and monitor is heavier and bulkier overall. Even with the cage applied to the Small HD Focus, it is still a little bit heavier and a little bit bigger because of this caddy with SSD inside. So the check mark goes to Small HD Focus. The next thing is boot time. This monitor boots up for about maybe 6 seconds, maybe a little bit less and Small HD Focus is a much faster one, so for professional work Small HD Focus is a better choice. The most irritating and strange thing about this recorder and monitor is when you turn it up it shows you the wrong picture and you have to go into the monitor menu, go to native and then apply a lot that you're using, if you're using a lot of course. And uh, every time you changed from 4K to HD and when you go to playback mode and then back to recording mode, it always switches to this much brighter picture. I'm not sure, I have the latest firmware here, but still it's not working properly and every time I have to go to the menu and switch back and forth between native and a lot and then use it. It's really frustrating and irritating, maybe it's because of my um, exact model, maybe it's a firmware issue, I hope they'll fix it, but it's not a professional solution. Small HD Focus didn't have this issue at all, so a check mark to Small HD Focus once again. The color out of the box. This monitor shows a little bit warmer colors and I'm not very sure if it's accurate enough. Small HD Focus had also not very accurate colors out of the box, but we have an opportunity to kind of fix and to tweak the color in Small HD Focus inside of it and to tweak the color right here to calibrate it. We need to buy a separate cable for 100 bucks, which is not available in Moscow in any shop so I'm not sure if I'm able to even buy this one here in Russia. Also, you need a um, calibrator and a special software, so I'm not even able to calibrate it in Moscow yet. That's strange, guys. So once again, a check mark to Small HD Focus. That is why I have to rely a lot to my waveform monitor and to my RGB parade to set the white balance properly. But anyway, a professional videographer always uses those uh, waveforms, you know, RGB parades, vectorscope for professional work. So do not rely on your eyes only. Actually, I have turned up this monitor to show you the brightness levels and actually it gets pretty, pretty bright. So if we go to display and we kind of rise up the brightness, you see it's very, very bright. Well, stay like this. And actually it's 200 nits brighter than the Small HD Focus and it's a 1080p display and uh, the Small HD Focus is only a 720p display, so this shows a much more crisp image and it's brighter and easier to use outside even with the sound hood attached to Small HD Focus. So a check mark to Atomos Ninja 5. Also you can tweak a little bit your lift, gamma and gain on this monitor, but I'm not really sure if you're able to do this without sacrificing the quality, so I'm not really touching those, but you're able to. And now about the functions. Atomos Ninja 5 has less customization. Much less customization actually compared to the Small HD Focus. You're able to customize something, some, you know, small tweaks, but Small HD Focus allows you to customize your different desktops. You can swipe between them, you can pinch to zoom. This is not happening with this monitor, only one to one magnifier and two to one magnifier. So it's just not as convenient to use as the Small HD Focus. And overall, the customization is a big kind of negative thing about this. So I like uh, Small HD much better. And now about some different exact functions. So the RGB parade here is much, much more dim. And actually you're less able to see it with your own eyes because you only have some small strips of color of red, green and blue. When the Small HD had the huge, the whole wave is red, the whole wave is blue and the whole wave is red. Uh, not the green one and 
actually it's much easier to see on the small HD focus so the check marks goes and once again to small HD actually I wish I had this uh, in a different way but it is what it is maybe they'll fix it with a future uh, firmware but not right now and overall this monitor works a little bit slower actually it's much slower when you want to turn on your for example waveform you're waiting for around one maybe even two seconds and small HD was instant but I do like the focus picking more right here because we have the special black mode when you get the black just total black picture and your focus picking shows only what's in focus it's much easier to see and I really enjoy this function actually it gives me the opportunity to see my focus much better when I'm vlogging for instance or when I'm I don't know on a gimbal for instance so this is much better and now about the zebras the zebras here are less customizable in small G focus you could set a set of zebras for instance for 75 IRE to check your skin tones and then to for instance uh, 100 IRE to check if you're blowing out some highlights so this monitor does not allow you to do this and you have to dial in your zebra uh, IRE number and in small HD you could just switch between two modes and it was much easier way. One of the worst features for me is the false color. The false color right here is really messed up. You have different shades of gray and you're not really understanding which gray is which and which gray represents the skin tones that around 75 RE and which gray represents around 30 to 40. And actually small HD uh, false color is much much better and it's much clearer. Uh, much more clear and uh, you see the different colors and here are um, the colors that are kind of matching each other and it's not just readable at the first glance. Maybe I'm just got used to the previous one but actually I think this is worse. And now about the aspect ratios. In small HD focus you could set different aspect ratios for instance your vertical for Instagram stories, your 235 to 1 for your filmic look and your normal one and here you have to scroll through those things they are presets and actually if you missed one you need to go through like 10 to 15 presets and dial in the exact one so it's not very comfortable to use. The same goes for your anamorphic disk squeeze you also need to just scroll through tap in the one button and in small HD you could have chosen a different one from the list which was much more efficient. But this one has the black and white picture. Maybe it's cool. <laughs> a check mark for this to add us. Also this has a feature that you can set your markers, your likes, dislikes or some other markers and you'll export an XML file and you'll see it in your editing software. It's more of a feature of your recorder so please subscribe to the channel because in three days there will be a video about the recorder itself so the recording features and as a recorder this one is awesome actually and um, small hd doesn't have this function but actually it's not really convenient because you have some strange small kind of uh, colored things and they are not very comfortable to use and all of the different uh, you know pictures that you can choose and kind of set the uh, female talking or male talking they are all just colors in your NLE so not really convenient. This one doesn't have an auto flip but the small HD had one so when you flip the monitor upside down it would flip for you and you can either turn it off or turn it on and for this you have to go inside the menu and just choose flip so mm, not really convenient for me also so the check mark goes to the small HD but this one has a tally light and also it shows the huge red box around when you are recording actually so you're not missing your recording time when you just messed up with the buttons and uh, it's easier to understand for a person who you're shooting actually and uh, they see that and the picture is being recorded so they know that you're recording right now because of the tally light so it's a little nice touch. Atomos Ninja 5 allows you to monitor HDR video, log video and the Rec 709 video and apply LUTs. Small HD Focus only allows you to monitor properly the Rec 709 and to apply LUTs. You can download your LUTs to the SSD and then download it to the internal memory of Atomos Ninja 5 and with small HD you had to use the separate SD card so one more SD card to buy and you could download those LUTs to the SD card and then use it on your small HD focus so I guess 
it's a draw here. You can monitor and look through your footage afterwards without plugging in the camera. So just straight from the SSD, it's also a feature more of a recorder, but you couldn't do this on your small HD focus. You had to turn on the camera, go to your playback mode and then watch the footage. And actually this one is a little better in terms of watching your footage and in terms of playback. So the mark goes to Atomos. Atomos Ninja 5 features an HDMI in a full-size one and also a full-size HDMI out. So you can out your signal to a different monitor or to a TV even, and you can apply your LUT and the viewers will see exactly the picture that you're seeing right here with the light up light, which is great. The kit itself is kind of minimal. So you get only your monitor and your um, power cable, power plug-in with different adapters and a caddy, and this is it. So you have to buy the batteries, you have to buy the cables, the mount and all that stuff. And I bought the Sony bundle and it actually was cheaper than only this one. So it's okay because that one was only a monitor and this one is a recorder also, but actually you have to spend a lot more money, maybe, I don't know, two hundreds of dollars to actually be able to use this monitor. And small HD Focus, the Sony bundle was a ready to go kit. Of course, the Small HD has the only monitor kit when you buy the accessories separately, but the kit that comes with the Atomos is very expensive. So my advice is to buy separately all of the accessories. And I will go through all of my accessories and all the links will be in the description below in the next video. So make sure you're subscribed to watch this. Or maybe it's even out already and you can watch it right now. Both monitors have the headphone jack, so if your camera doesn't have a headphone jack, you can monitor your audio through this headphone jack on the monitor itself. So it's a draw here, but you can also use uh, this one as a recorder, as a separate recorder, and you can record, for instance, four channels of audio instead of only two channels of audio with your camera only. So this one is a little bit better in this aspect. And now about the battery life. Actually, I bought two batteries for 5200 milliamp hours and they are around one and a half hours each so it's not a pretty big amount for instance small hd focus could run at full brightness with those two batteries for the whole wedding day and this monitor and recorder just choose through batteries so at least three batteries with 5200 milliamp hours are required to use it professionally this monitor features only two uh, screw threads at the bottom and at the top and I really missed the one on the side because the Small HD Focus had a special, you know, kind of arm and you had here the cold shoe adapter. It was much more convenient to use with your microphone and here you can attach the special, you know, this thing, the small hot shoe adapter or cold shoe adapter actually and use it like this but imagine here uh, the Rode Wireless Go or even the Rode Video Mic Pro right here. It's just a huge, very tall setup. Not very convenient for me, at least. And now about the weather ceiling. Actually, for me, the Small HD Focus was a rather great monitor because I was shooting in uh, wet snowing conditions, in rainy conditions, and nothing happened to the, that monitor. This one has the special grid for the vents and I'm actually scared of using it in the rain or with the sandy, you know, stuff because I'm very, you know, terrified if uh, some water comes inside and it can broke, break, broke, broke. <laughs> it can break actually. So not really recommending to use it outside in the bad weather conditions. So the check mark goes to small HD focus. And about the vent itself, it's a pretty, pretty noisy one. So let's here, we'll switch to the recording mode. And now you can hear the fans are kind of kicking in and it's a pretty, pretty kind of, you know, yeah, it's, it's very loud. Actually, it's not that loud when you are actually recording, but still it can ruin your audio from time to time. So just be aware of this. Atomos Ninja 5 features a full-size HDMI, so no more flimsy micro HDMI cables, and Small HD has their proprietary cables, so this one is better because you can use almost every single HDMI 2.0 cable. You can 
check those out if they are working and if they are recording 4K50 or 4K60, but it's much cheaper than to buy a proprietary cable from SmallHD. And in terms of uh, security, how do you call this in English? It's pretty secure in here and in SmallHD you had kind of a small hole and you plug it into the, the hole and it's not kind of flimsy, uh, so it's also pretty secure. And now about the mount. Actually I've bought this mount from AliExpress and this can be rotated 360 and also you can kind of tilt it like so or like so and it's a little bit better than this uh, arm with the small HD because it allows you to not block with your camera your viewing angles and actually I just simply like it better because of the rotation but you can still use the different accessory on your small HD focus so this one is a draw. So guys here are my thoughts about comparing the small HD focus 5 and this beast of a recorder but still a so-so monitor Atomos Ninja 5. It has some quirks and workarounds. I'm actually pretty okay with those quirks but still the small HD is a better monitor in my opinion. So please share your opinion in the comment section below and we're moving on to the quote of the episode. The best is the enemy of the good one. The Russian folk wisdom. And the question of the episode, which monitor do you use and do you enjoy working with the Atomos Ninja 5 and which one is better, the Small G Focus 5 or the Atomos Ninja 5 actually also or Ninja V, whatever you call this. So please share your thoughts in the comment section below. And please guys, don't forget to smash the like and subscribe bottles right here because I do appreciate it and it does help in terms of the YouTube algorithms. And I'll see you in the next video. Please check the recorder review, which is the next video on my channel. And I also appreciate it. Take care guys, see you in the next video. Bye.